Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancier. I wanted to wish you a really good day, for it is the Shabbat, for the seventh day of creation today. For, for it is a day that was given so that we could rest. We can, we can dedicate it this whole day to, the, to our relationship to God, to the Creator. Uh, but for me, it doesn't really, it is really no need because all my days are dedicated to that connection. For it is once we know we connect to, to the Creator, we, we do not want to do, we want to we wanna always be in this connection. And so I just wanted also to share what I have in front of my window, my bedroom window here. When I open the, the window, I hope you... Beautiful mountain. Well, I just wanted to, to share that, for it is quite... Um, Quite wonderful to open the window and to see the... I also wanted to announce that I'm not going to be using Oracle cards or anything like that anymore. Everything's been said on that level. There is absolutely no more need for it, for it is all about ac accepting the alignment, to be always in the alignment. For the seven days of creation is a symbolic story that was given um, to... Um, to, first, we want to explain that the cosmic day is thousands of billions of days, Earth days. It's not like one day like on the Earth. And um, from a higher level, it's, um, it's actually, to, it takes about, we know that we've been revealed, we know that it takes about two, it takes two billion years for all the satellites of paradise and the central universe to complete a cycle around paradise. But this is an invisible universe and the cosmos is organized in concentric rings around it. And so, so we, we have, we've been in the seven days of creation. It means God has created this universe, the creator, uh, and then he, he stepped back in the contemplation to see where it goes. But now we're ending this, this seven days. We're going to move into the new, uh, new week, uh, first, the first day of creation. So the God is taking back the controller, <laughs> taking, putting his hand on the creation. So everything is going to change. For that, we'll put an end to... Uh, certain beliefs. For instance, this Big Bang theory is really... For, for, for people on here believe, uh, do not know that, but a lot of higher beings know that there is a cosmic breathing. For two billion years, the universe is in expansion, and for two billion years, it contracts. Then for two billion years, it expands, and two billion years, it contracts. And when it contracts, the, the space reservoir above and below paradise are expanding. We don't know all that much about it. We just know they exist because it's so huge. But it is utterly, for now, it's utterly beyond anything we can explain. But uh, and and then when they contract, is the universe expand? And so, so so it's like um, and now we we so so the universe has been in this expansion phase, but it's it's stopping. It's it's about to stop the expansion. The expansion is going to stop. And so that's where everybody on the higher plane know that. It is an opportunity for amazing ascension for all dimensions, all planets, and so. Everybody is getting ready for that, and then once we, it will stop, and eventually we'll start to contract. So scientists will have to refigure, re rethink a lot of things. Well, for this is really long. It, it might take. They may not have uh, material scientists may not have the time to to actually figure it out. There's so much that is going on. But I just wanted to say that now the, the creator has has taken uh, put his hands on things. So so it's things will um, will definitely be accelerated. Um, I also wanted to say that uh, I had this very strange, disturbing vision last night. Um, but disturbing, um, it was kind of disturbing. I was, um, it was, it was like uh, hundreds and hundreds of little children. They were about three years old, and they were all coming to be very sad. And and it's like, uh, and spirit says, well, those are, are the, the abortions of the day. And it was like they were all coming to me, say, well, we had soul plans, and like, so well, we will find a way to. to to allow you to come into the earth, but but I wanted to say that sexuality is something very sacred. Life is very precious. It's very sacred. So 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 do not take it lightly. Those are not kind of things that needs that can be taken lightly. So just wanted to 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 say that. Um, although although because uh, you know it's, it's a big responsibility to uh, to bring children into the world. So treat them. Um, Yet, yet it's, uh, it, it's, it's there is a lot of things about the cosmic law that humans do not know that we have accepted as acceptable. All kinds of illusions that that are as we grow, we will learn more about the cosmic law and we'll align with it. So there's always so much more we need to know. And for so we, but there are, there are um, hundreds of millions of people that are already awakened here, and so so it's like our mission is going to be to 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 gather all the sheep. The billions of people, their sheep, they, they, they follow, them, they follow, they follow. And then there are certain wolf in sheep clothing. We're going to have to put them away, put them aside. 
and there are a lot of uh, of ships that are that are lost. So we we're gonna need to to assist them in coming back into the into the flock until they realize their lions are not ships. For it is really the the, the royal the, the royal lineage of the lion that 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 is awakening with this serious this lion's gate portal that is still active. Well, I just wanted to come and say hello, make a short video. I'm going to return to painting. I started a few paintings, but it is a new theme, so I hope I may have something to show in the future. And so much is about to change as well, huh? so let us get ready. So I'm going to finish with this song that went through my mind this morning. It's, it's a song I've sung in many times, a few times, but it's, it's quite a wonderful song. It's about... Um, it's about the, the realization of peace. That is, uh, it was it was a song that was written about the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. For we need to focus on peace. Peace is the main agenda, inner peace and outer peace. So it is very much what we need to do in terms of political agenda, just as much as personal agenda. Once we find the balance and the peace, we'll, we at least we're at peace. So just make peace with yourself, forgive yourself, and so, so you can find this balance. So it's called the wind of change. I follow the Mosva and down to Gorky Park, listening to the wind of change. An August summer night, soldiers passing by, listening to the wind of change. The world is closing in, and did you ever sing? That we could be so close like brothers. The future's in the air, can feel it everywhere, blowing with the wind of change. Take me to the magic of the moment on a glory night, where the children of tomorrow dream away. In the wind of change Walking down the street Distant memories Are buried in the past forever I follow the Moswa And down to Gorky Park Listening to the wind of change Take me to the magic of the moment on a glory night Where the children of tomorrow share their dreams with you and me Take me to the magic of the moment on a glory night Where the children of tomorrow dream away in the wind of change the wind of change blows straight into the face of time Like a storm wind that will ring The freedom bell for peace of mind Let your balalahika sing What my guitar wants to say Take me to the magic of the moment on a glory night where the children of tomorrow share their dreams with you and me. Take me to the magic of the moment on a glory night, where the children of tomorrow dream away in the wind of change, in the wind of change. So the oracle is love, the oracle is peace, the oracle is joy, the oracle is freedom, the oracle is, just to say for those who are expecting a oracle, the oracle is abundance, the oracle is prosperity, the abundance is, is fraternity. For, for the, all those things that is going on in the world, that all those conflicts that is going on, are about to put an end to all conflict. It is the final stage, the final day, the final moment. It is really the end of a cycle and we're really beginning a new cycle. So already be in the new cycle, bring the bring your alignment do not judge because you do not know know that you do not know for that is socrates although they, they can attribute that to uh, to uh, to uh, i don't know <laughs> whoever madonna or something because on the internet they, they they're bringing a lot of old i'm just uh, i don't know it's, it's, it's a joke it's a joke but um in, in the internet you see this this person said it this person said that when actually it's like ancient wisdom that's been written and 
or oh, many things. So do not believe all you see, do not believe all you hear. Just discern you know, the power of discernment. What makes you feel good? Just follow what resonates within your heart and what resonates will be right for you at that one moment. Thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Have a nice